Presso la Fondazione Memoria di Lady Diana, Compass ha presentato i risultati di una ricerca finanziata dall'Unione Europea che ha analizzato la relazione tra cittadinanza e integrazione nel Regno Unito. So we've surveyed a representative sample of people who've applied for British citizenship 2010. They came from uh, a number of different countries of the world, the biggest ones are India, the Philippines, Pakistan and Bangladesh. They're mainly young adults. Migrants in the UK are doing all sorts of jobs, both in some of the lowest paid and most um, exploited and vulnerable working areas and in some of the highest paid. In the last um, few years, the emphasis has been on trying to encourage migrants to fill highly skilled positions. Uh, and the evidence shows that overall, the contribution of migrant labor increases um, wage levels rather than decreases wage levels. It's the most vulnerable, the kind of lowest skilled, lowest educated British workers who are the losers in Um, in relation to migrant labour. People that are applying for citizenship are much more likely to be involved in civic activity or public activity, for example, um, attending local meetings, being involved in local community groups. Migrants who are applying for citizenship, um, overwhelmingly, um, they have a very strong identification with Britain and Britishness. That was true both of people who were successful in applying to become British citizens, But it was also true of people that applied for citizenship and were unsuccessful. People that have been here for a long time, that are motivated to apply for citizenship, that have settled in their communities, um, have very strong feelings of Britishness, whether they become a citizen or not. Most changes to legislation have made it harder for people to come to Britain. The new government, its main flagship policy, has been reducing the numbers of people coming into the country compared to the numbers of people leaving the country. So they've been looking at different ways of um, reducing the numbers of people coming in. So they've been looking at students, um, family reunion migrants. There's been um, strong legislation against discrimination um, and for good community relations of people of different ethnicities, um, but very little focus on the idea of migrant integration. The new government's policies have very much stressed the idea that integration is a, it's a kind of a natural process that people build communities, they get on with each other. But they have identified what they call a group of people who are refusing or failing to integrate, who are not learning English, who are not participating in society.